Hello, Colin. Um, I didn't wake up this morning expecting to be talking about um, gentlemen's intimate wipes. It's interesting, isn't it? Um, you won't be at all surprised to hear. I won't be investing. I'm out. It's a little bit insulting to come in here and ask for £250,000 on a separate business without a track record and no basis on which anybody in their right mind would ever consider investing. You have started something and you feel like you're accidentally made some money out of it. And therefore, you worry me that you could accidentally lose an awful lot of money. Yeah, I understand where you're coming from, but I was just trying to I'm mention. Not coming the from fact anywhere. Saying that you wouldn't go from 11% to 11.5%, having laid all your cards on the table, saying what a dragon can bring to you, the difference it can make to this business. And I can imagine what would happen if we were working together and you didn't want to do something that I thought was absolutely going to make the difference to the business? Because well, well, you'd be saying, that's... absolutely not, because that's what I said this morning I was going to do and I'm not going to move one inch. You having a good idea is totally different from me moving off 10%, isn't it? Do you want to an investor? Well, yeah, like I said, we need... We need I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to give... 50% well, okay, 50 can, I just, of can I just say, when you've had a good offer for 50%, you could well have negotiated grand. on that, but I've got to tell you, you didn't look serious to me. In what you way? didn't look like you were in here to do a deal. Well, well, well I wouldn't have signed anything here and now, would I? I, I would, there would be thinking time Michael, I, I, I can't help you yeah. anymore. I'm not going to invest. I'm out. We, we, will, we will more than double our, our burn rate at present so, so we, four months left yeah we'll have four months left that's a completely different answer to the answer you gave me is it can can i ask you something what happens when the two of you don't agree i can't believe that's ever happened that's not a good answer in itself. Um, that's, probably, that's probably one of the issues that can sit within a family business, which is particularly when the younger generation come through. And if you never disagree, that probably isn't healthy. No, I, I will always try to give Henry his head, even if I don't agree with what he's doing. So the default position is, is that he takes a decision. And then hopefully he learns he's made a dreadful mistake. It's worked. <laughs> that's basically, that in a nutshell, is a lesson on family businesses. <laughs> and uh, over a five year period. <laughs> what on earth makes you think that what you've got is worth 250,000 pounds? You need a reality check. Okay, so can you just explain to me why this investor brings twice as much value as a dragon? He doesn't bring twice as much value as a dragon. The dragons, all of you bring a lot and that's I wouldn't be standing here and you see that's a description of why he doesn't bring so much value and I think what you asked for was a description of why he does bring twice as much value Adam you need to be really succinct what's he got he has brought money to the table and he has actually shown an You're interest in investing You're asking us to do the same and the yeah. same amount when I first met him I was going to finance the business myself I think I need 150 grand I'm going to just raise it do it all myself Adam answer the question he doesn't bring double the value what he does bring is the fact that it is an investor there. So the business has moved on. My plan was to... Adam, you have just not explained to me why the investor who has not yet put £100,000 in is still going to get twice as good a deal as you're offering to one of the dragons here. I can't invest. I'm out. Oh. Uh, the, the loss for that year one... Um, was, um, sorry, let me just think about this. You've got your accounts, I know they're, you know, they're, I know. They're, you it's print them out, like, the number at know, the bottom. I know, I know, I um, know. They're the most important number of the year. Yeah. There's other devices on the market. I mean, the obvious one is the chain on the door. Trying to fix this side. I know, 
just fits the other side. So you can't be on the side that the door opens. So you have to rehang your door to make sure that it no. opens back against your wall. You have no. to. No, you don't. No, you don't. So the door would actually hang this side, and you turn up there, and it would work this way. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, Duncan. <laughs> so what I'm interested in is the business model. So you're okay, in year three. You. Yeah. You're projecting £381,000 worth of revenue. Yeah. You know, so when's your year end? A year ends actually August, but we've been giving you the figures based on since we've been open, so May to April and then May to April again. Does that make sense? Uh, well, it gets slightly complicated. Okay, it, it does. It, so, so, it does so, complicate so, things yeah. slightly because okay. it'd be nice to say, when I looked at a set of accounts on my last year end, mm -hmm. that was my profit figures. Um, I have a suspicion that the more warehousing you've got, mm -hmm. you are going to fill it. Mm -hmm. and your stock holding is about to get worse. The, the point is we've rented this place with the, uh, to match our five-year business. Matthew. No, no, I can... Do you what, know what, what, I, don't, what no. I don't get? What? How you could have an opportunity like this and every time somebody raises an issue, you're, yep, yeah, got it, back at you. I, 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 I can promise you that's not the case. What but I, it feels like the, that. The key thing I've taken And it doesn't just fit... You see, you're not even... Sorry, OK, please, please carry on. The, 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 no, the, the, no, the no I've got nothing... To, uh, do you know, I'm not... I'm not going to waste my words anymore. You're not listening. I'm not going to make any difference to you whatsoever. So I'm out. So unless you can tell me in 30 seconds flat why you think it's OK to come in and ask for 1% for 150,000, I am absolutely as quick as anything going out. OK. Well, I, I'm going to start with that then. Um, really, a business is worth what people are prepared to pay for it and what the, the vendor's prepared to accept for it. And that's the reality of the situation yep. that I'm sure we're all aware that's of. That's used 10 of your seconds, so... OK. Uh, I am going to use the Facebook example because they're at a valuation of $104 billion based on just $1.5 billion. OK. Uh, Having uh, told you that revenue. I'm not accepting that, yep. you've got 10 seconds to come up with something other than the same old same this old. is a unique product in the marketplace it is the best product in the marketplace at solving this problem which costs call centers a huge amount of money every day I have to tell you this is disappointing okay you are smart you've got a product that works if you'd come in here with a sensible valuation asking for a sensible sum of money I'll bet you I'd have invested in you right but I'm sorry for all of the reasons I've just talked about I'm out all right thank you Deborah